I had planned another closing message, but I feel compelled to say what I'm about to say. Now, I risk sounding like a conspiracy theorist, <clears throat> but it's no longer a theory. What I'm about to say is fact. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. They have planned and are now leading us into a one world communist government. The combining of national governments started with the European Union. That union started with trade agreements, then a common currency, the Euro, and now a European Parliament that is feverishly passing laws that uh, override the laws of, new, of the member nations. A constitution was drafted but rejected by a few uh, of those nations, but never mind. They implemented it anyway. Now it's North America's turn. We will have a new currency and a new constitution modeled on the Soviet Union's constitution. Our rights will not be inalienable, but they will be granted by government who can also take them away. These plans are not secret any longer. Huge amounts of property will be taken in the name of free trade, peace, and security. You will not be able to move about freely. This is terrorism of the most worst kind, brought on you by our own government. The strongest, freest nation in the history of mankind will be averaged into world communism. Is that what you want? Are we the people still in control of this nation? We must begin to act like we are. Today is the first full day of the New World Order. Outdoor gatherings are limited to two people. Exercise is allowed, but no further than a 10 kilometer radius from your home. Browsing in shops is not permitted. Only one person per household may leave to do essential shopping. And from tomorrow, funerals are limited to 10 people. This is a world pandemic. It's a one in 100 year event. So you can expect that we will have transmission uh, from time to time. And that's just the way it is. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. This is the new world order. This is the new world order. Today is the first full day of the new world order. The new world order. The new world, new world, new world order. I want to be straight with you. There will be no return to the old normal for the foreseeable future. I repeat, there will be no return to the old normal for the foreseeable future. So people assume uh, we are just going back uh, to the good old world which we had um, and everything will be normal again in how we are used to normal in the old fashion. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. A vaccine on its own will not end the pandemic. Surveillance will need to continue. People will still need to be tested, isolated and cared for. Contacts will still need to be traced and quarantined. Communities will still need to be engaged. It is a big idea, a new world order. New world order. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose, the illumination of a thousand points of light. Lead in shaping a new world order for the 21st century.